Hey guys, it's Nick here, and I'm back again with another video. So, today I'm really excited to finally be doing this video. Or not finally, but maybe that's going to be next week. But I'm really excited to be making this announcement. Because as the title does say, yes, it's your boy's birthday in one week. Exactly one week from today, I'm going to turn 15 years old. Today is November 4th, um, which is actually the daylight savings time here in Texas. And yeah, so today's November 4th, and my birthday's on the 11th. So basically, exactly one week until it's my birthday. And I'm getting really, really excited, like more excited, because just knowing the closer my birthday is coming, the sooner I'm gonna get most of the stuff that I want for my birthday, like the Canon Vixia, my new computer, and all that stuff. Really excited. And also in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys um, the little things I changed for what I wanted for my birthday, like a change of mind thing. Um, but first, I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to be keeping, like what I decided to get for my birthday, like stuff I'm going to be keeping that I want. Like, if, I don't know if you guys understand what I mean, but like things I didn't change my mind on. So the Canon Vixia, this is still something I'm not changing. This is, I'm still going to get this, the Canon Vixia HFR 700. Still getting this, um, same item for 200 bucks new. And this camera is going to help me shoot better videos. Um, so that's the one thing I ke I'm keeping. And then also my um, the Lenovo ThinkPad I was telling you guys about, the Windows 10 computer. I'm still getting this as well. As you can see, it looks really nice. This is going to help me... Oh, hold on. This is going to help me edit better. And I'll be able to do more stuff like maybe, for example, play more supported games like Roblox and stuff like that. Um, so those are two things I'm going to be keeping, but you guys are seeing that in my cart you don't see a tripod and a new iPhone SE, guys, what's happened with that? Well, first let me talk about the tripod. So, I knew I said I was getting a new tripod, but earlier this week I was looking up videos of when I unboxed my Target 66 inch tripod, I was like, oh, I don't want to just leave it like that after like four and a half months, and besides, it's a good tripod, why should I leave it? So I changed my mind that I'm not going to get a new tripod and I'm going to be keeping the current one that I have because, you know, I just don't want to leave it hanging like that. I've only had that for about four and a half months. Uh, man, I don't want to abandon it too soon. And it's a really good tripod overall. And you guys probably say, oh, but you abandoned your other tripod after you had it for six and a half months. Well, that's because the tripod was so small and it was super light and needed a more better tripod. So that tripod... Um, that tripod I got, the Target 66 inch, was a better choice for me. I mean, sure, there's some broken stuff on it, like the little handle where you could extend it. Not the legs, but another handle. But I mean, who cares? Honestly, it's still a good tripod overall. There's no problems with it at all. Um, so that's the thing I'm, I'm going to be keeping. And also, because I don't want to waste more money on the newer tripod, like $40, even $80 and stuff like that. I want to just keep this tripod and not waste any more money on that. And also, with my iPhone, um, I did tell you guys I was going to get an iPhone SE, a brand new one with 128 gigabytes. I'm still going to be getting an SE, but actually, this is how I'm going to do it. You guys remember back in July, I made a video where I broke my SE? Let me see if I can find it. Um, it's definitely here somewhere. Let's see. Let's go to my videos, and I'll show you guys the video I was talking about. I hope I can find it. Alright, let's see. Should be, I think it's in this one right here, number two. So you can see it starts all the way from the bottom of August because I'm not really uploading. I wasn't really uploading much throughout the period of between that day and today. So let's see. It's definitely here now. Let's see. Oh, no, it's, all right, it's definitely on page number three for sure. All right, now it's definitely here. Yeah, found it. It's a few bad updates, so let me show you guys. I, I hope they let me. I can watch it because some vids are restricted here. Oh, okay. Hold on, I can still do that. But all right, I'm about to do full screen with this one as well. See if I can do it. All right, let's see. All right, right here at this mark. Hope it's it's is it loading? Yeah, it is. So let's keep it paused and I'll show you guys. 
really like uh okay right there so you guys see i made a video showing you guys that i broke my iphone sc as you can see it was cracked here here oh what am i doing i was touching i was moved the mouse i was cracked here here and here and the whole screen was bad and also my camera stopped working a little bit after i got back from san antonio or actually it was during my vacation so i decided that for my birthday instead of buying a brand new sc i'm going to repair that iphone sc i'm going to be repairing it um, I'm gonna take it to this uh, wireless store near my house. It's called Wireless Doctor, and so basically, they're gonna fix the screen. It's gonna look all brand new, and they're also gonna fix the rear camera since that wasn't working. And that's probably gonna cost me, I think, a total of a hundred bucks. Still cheaper than buying a brand new one for two hundred. I save, I save like a hundred bucks, um, even though it's just like a fifty percent less memory. Honestly, what's there to blame? Six, what's there to complain about? Sixty-four gigabytes is pretty decent, I would say. So, it's gonna th th that iPhone's gonna look from broken to a brand new one with the camera fix as well. I'm also gonna add a tempered glass screen protector, just like on my iPhone 6, so I don't risk breaking it. So, yeah, that's those are the few things I changed my mind on. The tripod, I'm keeping mine, and I'm keeping my SC. I'm gonna be using that phone again, but it's, I'm gonna be repairing it as well because you know I wanna. I actually also, because I kind of miss using my SC, it, it filmed kind of a lot of memories from like early spring, or from most of spring to like early summer, I think. It did kind of film it, and that's why I'm going to be repairing this. And also, because it's faster than my iPhone 6, because the iPhone 6 only has 1 gigabyte of RAM, and the SC has like 2 gigabytes. I mean, it, it, the SC got discontinued back in September. But not officially, it only got discontinued by Apple people. There's probably a few stores that still sell it. It's a still good function phone, so yeah. This that's probably all I have for today's video. Just that my birthday's getting closer in one week and that uh a few things I changed my mind on that for my birthday as like what I wanted to get or keep her. I don't know how I would say it. But um also, uh, one one little small update. I think maybe tomorrow I might start getting back on Vyond because I asked my friend Gideon the Game Player when he's going to make the subscription, and he said most likely November fifth, and that is November fifth, and that is tomorrow. So I, I'm really hoping he's right. So if he is right, then start getting start expecting more Vyond vids to be back on track after tomorrow, and also with my uploading schedule because now I can make more and more videos. Instead, because I have nothing interesting to film outside of my daily life right now. So, yeah. Alright, that is all I have for today's update video. So, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.